Today I'm going to demonstrate the Lucky Sheep Organic Canvas 80 liter backpack. Here is, here is the, here's what it looks like. There's three pockets on the outside and the inside is just one big compartment. And this uh, rugged canvas material, we also coat with beeswax. And it's organic canvas, so this is an extremely eco-friendly backpack, the only kind on the market, which is specifically designed for lightweight backpacking. So how can that be? How can we make a lightweight backpacking product with using canvas? Well, it, it works just like other fabric only. It's, um, it's more, uh, um, it, it, the beeswax creates a eco-friendly waterproofing material. And it has the advantage over uh, synthetic materials in that it's, uh, because the, since it ab um, absorbs moisture, then whenever you're wearing it on your back, this is the sweat because I've been wearing it today. Um, it's gonna, it's not going to be sticky like a synthetic sleeping bag. Um, okay, some people make backpack out of natural materials, but whenever this backpack is fitted properly and adjusted properly, it's going to it be even more efficient than other backpacks, modern, high-tech, synthetic fabric backpacks on the market. And I'm going to show you how how to fit the pack, and then how to wear it and adjust it so it's uh, being the most efficient it can be. So the way the way there's it comes in three sizes, and the size the size that, that uh, is uh, determined by how far apart the top of the shoulder strap to the middle of the hip pack. So how many inches that is? So this is a medium size. So this is. 18 inches from here to the middle of the hip pad. And so that 18 inches, that, that's also the length of, this, if, if this was gonna fit you, then your torso would be 18 inches. So your torso is measured. It's basically from the top of your shoulder to the top of your hip, hip bone. And so and I measure, uh, it's a little hard to measure yourself, so it's good to have someone else measure. But basically, the top, the top of your shoulder, which is also this bone sticking out right here at the base of your neck, to your, to your lower back, mid lower back, right here. So that, that should be 18 inches. Yes, 18 inches. So, so like, uh, so the, I, my height of my body is five foot seven inches, and um, so um, my, I'm in the medium range, and uh, maybe most people up to around six feet would probably also be in the medium range and then go for the large after that and and then up to about five four or five five would be uh the small sized backpack so first get the right pack to fit your torso and then after you have the right size pack you still have to know how to um how to wear it and adjust it so so you want it to be you want it to be very, very um, tightly packed, and and you you can use this cinch cord to tighten it up. And it has these pockets out here, um, and then um, it also you know this can be extended up higher. And um, so first you tighten this, and then well, first you pack it like as tight as you can. Then you tighten this and then then you also tighten the top, the top and you you close it. You 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 fold make a little fold like this. And then close the top flap. And then this strap keeps the top closed. And then you can you cinch this this up to until it's tight. Okay? So see how this is tight. It's not floppy. Okay, this weighs about 35 pounds right now. That's how much I have in it. And, um, okay, so then, so, yes, yeah, so I, I walk a lot of times barefoot and, and I put my shoes in these side pockets like this. 
Okay, so the next thing is, um, let's look at the shoulder straps. So this, this uh, backpack is designed to be a cross chest strap system. Instead of going like this and then around your shoulder, it actually goes across your chest. And the reason for that is because it's more ergonomic, it's more comfortable, it's a revolutionary idea that Lucky Sheep has introduced to the market. And um, this is how you put it on. You, you just swing it around and then you tighten the upper straps. Actually, Okay, that's, that's the one way to put it on. But if you, if you want to, you, here's another way to put it on. This is, this is, um, this way is a little more, you know, sometimes you, you don't feel like balancing it, so you, you just put it on while you're sitting on the floor. You loosen, loosen the straps first. Okay, you, you put them on like that, and then you get up. And you get up. So that's another way to put it on. Okay, so after you, actually, I need to show one more detail. Okay, so there is a strap right here that on both sides of the upper shoulder strap. The strap right here, and the purpose of this strap is to is to hold the shoulder straps away from the neck so that they're in a comfortable position and they they pull the pack up towards your body so the pack isn't leaning back away from your body which would be not efficient because uh it would put it for uh away from your center of gravity and it would flop so to create a very efficient fit uh, first you you uh adjust this strap here so that it's a it's you know, you don't, you don't want it too tight, but you want it to be pulling back a little bit on the pack, on the strap. Okay, so that's important. I'll show you how that works. Okay, so. Another thing is it's important to put the put the left strap on, connect it first before the right strap. And the reason for that is because you want, you want this, strap, this strap here to be riding on top of this padding here, where, where it will naturally ride if you do it in that order. Okay, so I, I, I'm, so notice the pack how it's, there's a little bit of space where the pack is back a little away from my shoulders. But when I tighten it, it's gonna pull the pack up against my body like that. So I'm going to, um, first I'm going to put my, connect my hip strap. Okay, I'm gonna get my hip strap on there. And now, okay, now once you kind of get all straps on and they're a little bit loose, then you just tighten them individually. So now I'm gonna, I'm going to tighten the shoulder straps until the pack comes up and touches my upper upper shoulder area. <laughs> I have the wrong strap. Okay, you want to make sure that you get the right strap <laughs> because there's there's the there's the uh, hip hip belt strap right there. So I actually had the wrong strap attached to my hip. So and then there's another strap here that, that is for the shoulder strap. So. Okay, so now, now we're talking. So then you tighten this up. 
until until the pack gets pulled, it pulled. and you kind of kind of push it up above your butt and and tighten these straps until until it's it feels good it's like it actually hugs your body pretty pretty well it's pretty close to your body this this bottom of the pack shouldn't be any lower than a little bit down your butt a little bit like where it is and um, and this this should be these shoulder straps should be a little bit above the shoulders and not sat not down below the shoulders because if it was like that the pack would be um, too too loose and you would need to tighten it up with all these different adjustments that I just showed so now another thing is this this uh, this hip the hip belt the the uh, strap should be about at your navel right there okay so once you get all of this okay so now this is a pretty good fit still it feels like it's up against my body and um, yeah so now I'm ready to walk so the here the advantage of this kind of strap system is that um, it frees up the arms so that when you're walking you don't have some resistance this, there's not a resistance up against your shoulder like standard shoulder strap packs they create resistance as you walk and that that would make the walking inefficient because this this uh, your, your breastbone is a solid part of kind of your core of your body and it's a better place to put the weight a weight bearing strap and most of the weight is, is carried by the hips either way but but um but you know a little bit of the weight is definitely carried by the shoulder straps so um so this is a pretty good fit right here this is you want your pack to look like this when when you get it when you get it on if it doesn't look like this then uh you need to do some more adjusting or repacking or something um okay so now now I'm, uh, I'm just going to show a little bit about what it's like to walk with it. Like, like I say, when you walk, when you walk, you, your, your, uh, your arms are free to swing. So this gives you a more, a more natural gait. Like this, and also, you know, I'll tell you, there is one disadvantage to this pack, as you can see, that it, it is get a little hot and sweaty. Like where it connects to your back, like a lot of packs do. However, the advantage to this pack is the fact that you, you have very little in front of you, and so you're, the, uh, the front part of you is like being cooled off a lot in the, in the, um, you know, when it's warmer weather. So, uh, so let's just take a look at the whole pack. So like, this pack, it's amazing. I mean, I can I can even run. I've run down the trail with this pack, like fully loaded. Sometimes, you know. So, I mean, it, it there's nothing. This pack is extremely technical, even though it's organic and non-toxic. So, uh, All right, I'm ready to hit the trail. Thanks for watching and stay wild.